the second dashboard I'll share is uh, what we call the command center. So this, this is more similar to some of the other things you've seen where it's an interface between our risk engineering team and our risk operations team. So ramp ramp is a charge card. So we, we make very short loans to all the businesses uh, using our credit card. Obviously, uh, every time you have underwriting, uh, you have a lot of operational load that comes with it. This is uh, one, one of the things we really loved about Retool for this use case was that it's secure by default. So this is very sensitive data. Obviously, it's this, this data you're viewing here is fake, but in the real dashboard contains very sensitive uh, customer data. It's important to keep it as secure as we can. And so the fact that we can host Retool on-premise behind a VPN, make sure that that sensitive data is restricted to only the people who really need it. And that we know that it's, it's protected by the same level of security as in like our application and our database behind the VPN. I guess the actual use of this dashboard, it's, uh, this dashboard is mainly for investigation. So there are some buttons here, as you'll see. The main point, uh, like when there's a fraud signal or a risk signal that's raised or a customer is wondering if they can get a higher limit, we want to be able to see all of the data we have about that customer at a glance, right? And so this might look kind of dense at first, but uh, it, all of the information here is, is pretty valuable. So being able to see the four key numbers about a particular customer, being able to see what's been going on with their bank balance, uh, when when are they going to be paying us next and ability to also, yeah, this, this one is kind of like a workflow, right? Where you can, whenever we're changing a, a customer's business limit, we want to keep an audit log uh, so that we have a clean record of why the, these limits were changed. So it's, it's a fun combination because the, the workflows naturally uh, code go next to the data that they're modifying, right? You want to be able to see the data and modify the data in the same place. And the fact that's, that's where retool really shines above a lot of other like business analytics tools. Like when you think I just want to see data, you might think to use just some data visualization tool, but those don't have buttons. <laughs> so that's where we really found retool to be amazing is that you can combine both the visibility and like these nice charts and stuff uh, with the buttons to be able to take action uh, and rectify the situation that you're looking at. So those were those were the the two dashboards.